Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Greetings, Pokefans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun! Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokemon games. If you are enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, make sure you answer the comment question if you missed the last episode. Really intense trial against Mimikyu, make sure you go check that out. Also, I did receive this product free from Nintendo, along with the copy of Ultra Moon that my lovely girlfriend Jubilee is playing here. Uh, she's joining me again, as she has been for the last several episodes, because we're recording these all on a Saturday and she doesn't have work. Um, before we get into the episode, I actually did quite a lot off camera. Um, I decided I wanted a Gabite um, on my team. I thought it'd be a really cool ground type to use instead of Alolan Dugtrio. And if you don't know, the only way to get them in... Uh, sun and Moon, and appears to be the same in Ultra Sun and Moon, is if it's sandstorming in the desert and it is SOS called in. I attempted to get one with, um, there wasn't overworld sandstorm, so I was like, okay, I'll just like use sandstorm, use the smooth rock, but the sand dial in the desert were replaced with crocker rock, which made it a lot harder because they call less and they're stronger. Um, so I like stopped, waited until it showed up in the overworld, and went for it, and after like 45 minutes, <laughs> I finally found a Gabite, and I'm gonna roll that clip of me finding the Gabite and catching it right now. Okay, just help, I'm gonna... <gasps> yes! 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 Finally! Yes! Oh, I can stop doing this now. I'm running away immediately. <laughs> Congratulations! I'm really surprised they didn't know about the Golette, though. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What the hell was that Golette that showed up? I don't know. Now I'm just like, that's weird. Uh oh. Oh, it knows a recoil move. That's not good. Um. I think I'm gonna throw a timer ball. It's gonna be a repeat ball, but it's more important that we catch this thing. Agreed. Oh dear. <laughs> you have false swipe. I do, but it knows takedowns, which means uh, it hurts itself. Okay. Yeah, don't. Don't do that. And I don't have a ghost type. Ghost type didn't know it was gonna no take down. It's okay, you can do this. I have quite a few timer balls. <sighs> I'm bringing in Toxapex. Toxapex is gonna take the takedown damage way better, meaning he'll do less damage to himself. She will do less damage to herself. I should go ahead and heal him. Ugh, it sucks.
status, like paralyze? No, I don't. Well, I couldn't. Well, yeah, no, I don't have any moves that could paralyze it. Gotcha. Even though I had some with Thunder Wave, it's a ground type. <laughs> so, uh, doesn't really work. God dang it! That's true, I forgot about that. <laughs> Putting it to sleep, I guess, would be the only option. Yeah. I mean, it's no it's not like it's gonna kill itself anytime soon. Right, yeah. I'm just worried about running out of balls, you know? I don't think, I mean, worst comes to worse, you know, you can try other balls besides the time ball. He will get more catchable the more he hurts himself. Yeah. So. And if this goes for another 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure desk balls are going to start working. <laughs> yeah, true. true. Let's yeah, go! There you go! Yes! It did not go for another 20 minutes. You're all good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that lasted so long. Well, we finally got it. Oh, you know what I realized? The longer an SOS hunt goes, the higher chance it has for its hidden ability. So there's a solid chance that this thing has rough skin. Oh, that would be great. I hope so. Uh, I would like to give it a nickname, but I don't want to think about it right now. I just want to, like, save my game. So I'm going to go to the move. I'm going to go to the name raider once I figure something out. Add to your party. Goodbye, random crocker rock that I was <laughs> trying to use at first. Uh, place in your bag. Save my game. <laughs> ah, it doesn't have it, but that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't have a terrible nature, so... I can deal with it. All right. All right. We did it. Friggin' finally. <laughs> this took 40 minutes, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna stop recording, and I was I'm gonna let. Too. Yeah, she was. We're I'm gonna stop recording and let uh, future me take over the video again. All right, guys. So as you saw, um, Wait. I caught the gabite. I named it Sahara, um, after the Sahara Desert. I was hoping she'd have her hidden ability, but she did not. Um, you know, there's only a there's a pretty low chance of that. But I changed up the move set. I taught it Bulldoze, Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb, and Iron Head, uh, and Dragon Claw. It already knew. I did want to get unique balls for the team, but as I said, Timer Ball was like the best ball for the situation. It was more important that I caught it than that they have unique Pokeballs. Um, the emergency for Jubilee was she was battling a Larvesta, and she only had like. Her underleveled Pokemon she was trying to grind. But, uh... Battle's not over. Battle's not over? What does it have? Pinsir. Pinsir? Oh, just use Ancient Power again. But I have to heal. You do have to heal, yes. You will not outspeed a Pinsir. I think I should switch into... Because I'm afraid it's going to kill me while I'm trying to heal. I'll heal and it'll one-shot me or something. So bring in Vulpix and That's heal. Yeah. Um, but anyways, <laughs> enough discussion of Jubilee's battle troubles. I did want to go to the desert. I did not, when I went there to catch Gabite, I didn't do any exploring there. You know, I just went in and, like, found the Pokemon right away. Plus, Gabite has Sand Veil, and this is going to be, like, my only chance to take advantage of it. <laughs> so, we're going to go in and see what we can see. And I did not mean for that to happen. <laughs> Also, I maxed Gabite's affection. I have not been able to max Nine Tails. I, I maxed Gabite's over uh, Vulpix's. That's not who's supposed to be in front. Oops. <laughs> one-shot Vulpix with Brick Break. Oh, you're screwed. Because <laughs> Lie Leap's weak to Brick Break. You're probably going to lose the battle. I'm sorry, Julie. The stupid. I hate... Oh, it's using its Z move. I'm screwed. It has a Z move? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're screwed. Sorry, babe. I think I can reset, though, because I saved. Uh, what? I mean, just, like, it's not a big deal if you lose. I've lost a battle. You don't lose that much money. 
That's a cool looking Z move. What was that? What type Z move was it? I wasn't like, watching until I like looked. You weren't watching until you looked. <laughs> Um, you can battle him again, yeah, with the rest of your team. Wrong pocket. But yeah, I max Gabite's affection before Vulpix is because Gabite has a much slower uh, experience growth rate. So, I didn't get to say that because Jubilee was having the struggles. Struggles can be real sometimes. So, I wonder if the navigation through here is the same. I kind of know what's here. It's a Krakorok. Oh, it's another Doug Trio. Okay, well, we're going to KO you with a Bulldoze for experience purposes. Experience purposes. Aha! I like how he's just stomping and it destroys the Doug Trio. That didn't give me very much. Thought it would give me more. I'm probably gonna use a repel right now. Another one of these stupid things. I like hate Krokorok so much after that nightmare. <laughs> I was using embargo and yeah. like freaking uh Embargo and Swagger were a giant pain to deal with. Just gonna use my regular repels, cause... Ah, nuts. These things are... They're shifty. <laughs> oh, it's a Trap Inch! We should catch that. Wouldn't that have been easier? That would have- shut up. <laughs> I did not know you could find them here either. I knew they were here, but I thought they might have been I like SOS only. actually a low, uh, like spawn rate. Well, I think they're spawn. only in the special little, like, dirt spots. But I oh. went to like two or three of those and only saw, like, Doug Trio, so I was like, okay, there's clearly nothing else here. Probably just a low chance. Alright, well, we got Trap Inch. So I guess that's cool. Oh, it's good to have extra Pokemon for the decks, you know. We're his Okay, I want to see him do this again. So I'm going to waste my turn. He used an adrenaline orb in a trainer battle. Really? Yeah. It didn't do anything. He just used Swords Dance. Is this gonna kill me? Oh, yeah, probably. You probably just wanna KO this thing and just, like, live in mystery. Am I so oh, I'm not high enough level for Repel to work everywhere. It's gonna be fine. Am I resist bug? Isn't that? It's neutral because you're fire dark. That's all that did. All right, we're running from this Why stupid thing. Using. Who resists this thing? Who resists this thing? Uh, Halucha does. Halucha four times resist bug. That's what I'm needing here. Does he resist fighting? Yeah. Okay, good. Use your Z move. It won't let me do anybody. Why won't he use his Z move? I want to see it. Don't know. That's weird. This is what we want. Psychium Z.
Ah, crap. I went the wrong direction. <laughs> Run away from the vile trap bench again. <laughs> really, really regretting not trying to SOS these things. I'm feeling pretty dumb right now. <laughs> Oh, that was no problem. Is there a TM here? Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm pretty sure I can... F yeah, I can fly here in the future now that I've gotten here, so... That's what's important. <laughs> oh boy. That guy almost got us. Oh, a big nugget. That sucks. Well, when you get the bug in EMZ at some point, you can use it yourself. I don't know if you used bug in EMZ. I don't know if you used pincer in EMZ. There's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as pincer EMZ. Alright, let's get progressinating in the story. You suck, Kahuna of Rat 12. I love this team. It's so cool. No, oh, give me the team for Dragon Tail. Oh, nice. I also love my pants. What do? Banana, banana, na. Ooh, things are getting spicy. I think we <laughs> fight. I said spicy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I think we're gonna fight her, uh, her Golbat, so I'm gonna leave it flurry and hope an Aurora Beam does the trick. Hello! You are vile, and you must die. Back so soon, hmm? Touch it for next time you get in no way, I'm not holding anything back. I just realized my mic isn't in the right position. Ah yes, I moved it a couple inches, now this is ideal. Hello! Oh no, I didn't Madam? Know Scratch your booty on camera, girl. <laughs> that was my back, actually. Oh. You got this flurry. You're not a fairy type yet, so you're not weak to it. And you're several levels lower, but it's fine. Aurora Beam. Okay, let's see how much this does. Ah, yes, ice doesn't resist anything. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, this is actually fantastic because look what I did. <laughs> What'd you do? I went into my ground type against her, her Salazzle, which is four times weak to ground. This bulldoze one shots. It outspeeds and knows it. Oh god. Okay, this is my KO actually. Hell. <laughs> well. Using the not leveled up folks is uh, going real bad. Yeah, you're pretty low level. My Vulpix is 38. And it still sucks at everything. Logical. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it needs to evolve to not suck. Come on, Toxapex buddy, you got this. Was not aware that the Salazzle knew Dragon Pulse, but I will keep that in mind for any future battles with her, if that occurs at all. Do we ever battle her again? Well, at least that one shot. Probably will. Are you kidding me? Nope. I'm not kidding you. Don't grab on her. Oh well. It's fine. Okay, Golbat, we use, what do you use Sahara, but that's kind of a sailed ship, so we're going to Thunder Punch this thing.
Woohoo! Can you smell what the rock is electrocuting? <laughs> Safeguard? No. Now we gotta heal again. <laughs> Poon Anners. Yes, you are pretty tough. I'm gonna switch earbuds so I can hear you easier. Um, given an ultimatum, you have to come get it from Poe Town alone. Uh, battles you can't afford to lose aren't any fun. Well, Heavy Slam is terrifying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it, it does more the more the, the user outweighs you. So the heavier Pokemon you use, the less it'll do. Oh, okay. Which is why Heavy Slam on Celesteela is so OP, because it's tied for the heaviest Pokemon in existence. Yeah. It's a whole lot of Pokemon that can travel across the water. Yeah, I gotta get the Sharpedo from Grimsley. After I heal, because Goodbye is unconscious. <laughs> Lovely. I think I'm better off just, I don't know, like, this grinding isn't anything. Like, they've died. You gotta do it somewhere else. Or I switch them out every single time, because they still get full experience if you switch them out. Vulpix and the rest of your team are right. Let's hope the next battles don't go as poorly as that did. <laughs> okay, where's Grimsley? We gotta do this little cutscene thing with him. Ah, hello, sir. Are you prepared to fight me and to lose? I do not think he is prepared. Reason for a rude awakening. Yuki. Ah! Perfect! Let's match us up nicely! <laughs> this is great! So adorable. Aurora Beam! A little gibble. And now it's dead. Yeah, it did that. A Marowak. We're gonna keep battling and then switch. Okay, let's see if we can do this with Sahara. We're gonna resist the fire moves four times, so. He's boomerang. Okay, actually, I actually am not confident enough. Because I did more than I th wanted it to. Shadow Bone. That would have really hurt. Good thing I switched. Which guy? The green glasses guy. Who? The guy with the glasses. Who? He wears green glasses goggle things. Oh, Faba. Ether Foundation. Yeah, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Now I understand. Goggles? Is that what took you out? <laughs> you think of them more as goggles? Yeah, I guess I guess they are glasses. I don't know, I just I didn't think about it. Hmm. We defeated Yuki. Watch the armrest. Well, let's uh heal our freaking team after one battle. Oh, I should actually use a soda pop. It's actually not that much HP. Oh, I used all of them. Okay, we'll use a lemonade instead. <laughs> Halucha is like <laughs> kind of over leveled now because I uh, used it to uh, for most of the SOS hunting. So he's up to 42 now. <laughs> but I need to try to avoid using him when I can.
<coughs> I like saying neither. How did you know I had planned to my skarmory grab it from the air? Something, something. What all was grass week to remind me? Flying, fire, bug, poison, ice. So it's like I want to use somebody. I, I obviously know the obvious ones that it's weak to, but those ones, those Pokemon, I don't want to use. Oh, this is also a fairy, isn't it? What? Bloet. It's only fairy. Oh, it's only fairy. Never mind. Meaning it's weak to poison and steel. Yeah. <laughs> Jubilee thinks the Bloet line is a is a fairy. <laughs> no, I thought it was grass. Or things, yeah, that's what I meant to say. So fast. I'm doing okay though, because I don't know. I don't... Oh, I should repel. Nuts. That's a wish came true. Whoa, a tentacruel. Yeah. Let me catch those here. You're a football. Did you catch it with a quick ball? I need to buy more of these. Yes. Hi, catch rates! Yay! I do like that it gives experience for doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's. Rehestarad! We got a tentacruel. It's great for the team. What is 80 tentacles? Uh, I see eight. <laughs> <laughs> 80? It said that in the decks. It wraps its prey in its 80 tentacles. There are eight. Added a zero on the end of that. <laughs> Did not belong. I wanted to repel. I need to just get rid of these regular repels. What's this? A surfer dude. Hello, sir! Do you care to partake in combat? With our creatures, not us. I don't want to fight you. You beat the crap out of me. <laughs> this guy is pretty buff. <laughs> Genis. He He's got blue eyes. Nice. He's got a Mantine. It makes sense for a surfer. I thought Mantine was bigger than that. Weird. It doesn't look bigger than that when you're surfing on it. Yeah, it does. It does look bigger than that. It's actually pretty small. No, that's just a small one. Well, tiny one. Incineroar has Thunder Punch, but like... Yep, glad I didn't switch an Incineroar, because I thought that might happen. <laughs> well, I need to reteach you, uh... Forgot to reteach him Grass Knot. For False Swipe. I can do that after this battle. I thought I'm False Swipe for the SOS hunting. I'm like, I deleted Grass Knot because I have the TM4, and I can just reteach him the Grass Knot immediately. Yeah. Maybe this will one shot, even though it's only neutral. No, nope. bummer. Wow, that sucks. Oh my god, that oh, did so that? much damage. Air slash. Oh. Saying <laughs> I'm using three different Pokemon to beat this stupid Mantine. <laughs> Ah! 
flinch. Of course I freaking flinch. Oh my god, this is bull! This sucks! Like, every single battle, my team's getting the crap beat out of it. I don't know what's going on. My team's getting, like, crept on as well because of how low level so many of them are. <laughs> They're not evolved is the problem. I need them to evolve. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it using that because that did nothing. Texas, continuing to have incredible defenses. We need to heal freaking Sceptile, oh my god. What is this? TM, holy crap! You did? Yeah! Here. Here on this route! Oh my gosh, yes, the power. Yeah. On the route that you use Sharpedo on. It's like you, you just, like, there was this thing in the middle of it, there was like a ramp to go up, and I'm like, okay, I'll go up this. And at the, like, you battle the surfer guy with the Mantine, and then you, uh, like, there's this. Surf shack here. Okay. I will go there. Have to take the sharp beak off so that uh has the power. Ooh, a sticker. Fifty-three. Hello, what's going on here? The mythical over the Gyarados. It was a trick of this legendary surfer once did. Oh, he was but loved by both the sea and the mantine themselves. There's one left who knows how to do it anymore though. There's no one left who knows how to do it. Old predictions, I'm gonna do it. This is some random surf shop. Is there anything here other than learning about this over the Gyarados trick? Interesting. And very. Mystical. Hello, sir. I will fight you. I should probably, this should probably be my last battle. I've, like, I've been like going by how long I've been recording and remembering. Oh yeah, I'm inserting this entire segment of me catching that <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> so probably should end it after this. Should I learn flamethrower? Who? Even though it's a special move, Incineroar. Oh, uh, it's 90 power instead of 75. I'm 100% accurate. I mean, look at your special attack stat. It's 85 versus 102. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. Wise, nah, I don't think so. It's 15 <sighs> more power. I need to... Man. I don't have anything that matches up against Tentacruels very well. Of course I get poisoned. Oh my god. These battles cannot go. These keep. These battles just keep like. I'm not losing. They just suck. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least that was swift. All right, guys. This is where I'm gonna call it for this episode. Uh, I'm probably gonna fly back and heal because like, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> um. It's just, it was so annoying that Tentacruel, it's like every single one of my Pokemon that had a super effective move against it was also weak to it. Yeah. Like, Incineroar with Thunder Punch. I guess I could have used Halucha with Zen Headbutt, but like, wanted to avoid doing that. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to end it for this episode. Next episode, uh, hopefully we'll get to Po Town and start doing that stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question down below. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. 
Gotta catch them all!